I walk alone in the land unknown with my stoic resolve and a will of my own. In search of light, this monk moves on. I say to you, your heart is my home. Hello everyone, this is the Holy Hermit and I'm back with a video on Diablo 3. This video was requested by a lot of you, so here I am. In this video, I'll be talking about my gear specs, what I use, what kind of gear I have, and the way I play the game. Start off, of course I have my monk selected. I'll go to any act, and this purpose of the video is not any gameplay footage, but to show you what I do with my gear, how I gear myself, and how I would like to gear myself in the future. Well, this say any act really, I'm going to start the game. Let's have a look. By the way, I am Paragon level 85. Long way from home of course, but there's still a long road to go on forward to. So, without further ado, let's have a look at our specs. Forget the skills of course, this is a Tempest Rush build that I showed you in one of my other videos. This build, just to give it a few more lines about it, this build works with, with dual wielding. This is probably the, one of the only builds that works very well with dual wielding. So please have a look in the other video if you want to know more about it. Starting off, I'm going to show you my skills now, the way I work with them. Well, I'll go on with my damage. Isn't that what most people are after? Not me personally, and I'll tell you why later on. But anyways, my damage here it says is 121,463.59, if you prefer decimal places that is. Well, how do I achieve that? Let me actually get the buffs off away, so I'm not going to go for any of these. I don't have any, well, seize the initiative. And just for a moment, I'm going to remove one with everything with something... Well, that's not going to go for my skills. So we're going to look at back at our inventory again. And the way I gear myself up, what my principle is and how I do it. Starting off with the weapons. I personally like to play with high attack speed. My philosophy is, on high monster power, the way I deal with enemy is, I want to attack them fast. I want to attack them very quick. Right now, with this gear, my attack speed is 2.41. So here you go, me spinning around in that attack speed. The way I achieve it, of course, is to have lots of attack speed on my gear. That is expensive after all, is it not? When it comes to weapons, my weapons are nowhere near as good as most people would think they are. First one is a simple dagger, DPS of 790. It has about 100 dex on it, 64 crit hit chance, some life steal on it. I'll talk about more of that later on. The other dagger, my offhand, has again almost similar DPS. It has 109 dexterity, lots of vitality on it crit hit damage of course and life steal. Both of my main hand weapons have a socket in them. Now these are my weapons. Again I'll talk about philosophy later. I'll just show you my gear to begin with. Next on we're going to look at our helm. I go for Ina's Radiance. Now I don't want to gear my monk fully on Ina's set. It's all well and good. It looks good on paper but I can promise you if you want to spend a lot less money and gear even get better DPS I believe and resistances of course there are other ways around it. Well, looking at Ina's Radiance, why I like it, of course, it gives you Dex, Vitality and all. And for me, I am a Lightning Monk, sorry, I'm a, I am a Lightning Monk, by the way. So if you look at my resistances now, I'm averaging 222, 22, sorry, so that's my all resistance. So, I would like to gear myself according to that, as in I'll get all the Lightning resistance, so when I use one with everything, then I can get up to a higher one. Now this is a shame, really, I'll personally do admit that. I would like to go on a higher all resist as in not depend on lightning resist or as in I can get rid of one with everything. I can't do that at the moment. It's a problem because it's going to cost me a lot. But anyways, we're talking about Ina's Radiance. It gives me dex, it gives me vitality and it gives me lightning resistance. What I'm also, well, one of the most important things I'd say this about this one is I, it also has armor. So I'm also getting armor from it and lightning resistance. Crit hit chance, always go for the maximum one. And as the rule of the thumb, which all of you understand by now is, always have a socket in your helm. Well, you can get other ones, of course, but this one, well, it allows you to do two different things. If you're farming up, you can put your Radiant Ruby in there. If not, you can have the Vitality Gem in there. Here I am with my Spirit Stone, of course. And another reason why you would want a Spirit Stone, I'm going to show you another one that I use. So this is my main one, I guess, if I want to do DPS. This one that I'm showing you right now is the one I use most of the time. Similar specs, of course, has high, decent amount of dex, some vitality, lightning resist. But what's more important is, which most people ignore, and why I can farm so fast and why I'm running so much and I have so much spirit is because I have high spirit regeneration. You can get a lot of that from your gear, being monk, as in monk-specific items 
have a chance to give you spirit regeneration like this one over here so if you want to buy a, a spirit stone for farming don't go for the high dps one or anything well it's good if you can afford it but rather than getting armor i would recommend you to get well spirit regeneration on it this one has at least two well 2.07 so i would recommend you to go for two well at least two it has critical hit chance i always go for six percent and you will be surprised how much I got this for. I don't snipe items or anything. I just find whichever one's the cheapest one, I guess, and I buy them. So in a way, it is sniping, if you want to call it that. But anyways, I spent about 1.2 million on it. The one that you see me equipped right now, that one's about 2 million. So it's not really a lot now, is it? Well, next up, we're going to look at our shoulders. Well, I'm sorry to admit, but most people do use wild wards, and the reason is they are amazing. They have life regeneration, and they have armor with lots and lots of high resistance. And I said earlier, I am a lightning monk, so I have lightning resistance, and it's, well, all resist on it. I would recommend you to go for any wild ward with your main stat over 200. That's easier, but that also means it's expensive. So something like this will cost you around 25 to 32 million, depending on how well you can snipe them. That's what it is, really. So I have some vitality on it, of course, and dexterity. My amulet. Now we're going back to my attack speed items. My attack speed is 2.1, and I'll show you which items concur to that. I can't get average damage on it. If you can, that is amazing. But we all know how much these items will cost, right? If you get an, uh, an average damage on it, the same amulet would be around at least 60 to 70 million. I got this one, believe it or not, for 4.1 million. So it has dexterity, it has vitality, it has my preferred resistance, some attack speed, critical hit chance, as high as I could go. And a little secret again, it has life regeneration. So you've already seen two items with me that give me life regen. That is the amulet and my shoulders. Now here's the biggie. Now we're going to go to this one and most people would find it strange. I've played around with these chest armors, of course. Earlier I was using, like like most people, I was using Ina's, Ina's Vast Expanse to give me more dexterity. What I found out, if I could get one of the highest possible decks on a Tal Rasha, which is 100 by the way, and I'll have high vitality on them, they give me an extra increased attack speed. And if you look at Ina's set bonus, set 3, well the third bonus isn't very good at all, is it now? Pants are always essential, I'll come to them later, but... The second item I would rather get would be a spirit stone because it's going to give me something like what? Spirit regeneration. So for chest armor, I prefer Tal Rasha's to give me increased attack speed. See, I have another one over here. I used to use this earlier. So this one has 80 dex, less vitality, lightning resistance, and attack speed. So I personally found them good for, it. well, extra damage, of course. It doesn't have much defense, of course, because I took it off. But my resists are exactly where I want them to be, and I'll tell you that later. There's my chest armor for you. Next up are my gloves. Got these babies for just a million. Not a lot, right? But they aren't good at all, actually. So it has high dex, has no vitality, some lightning resistance, but I knew if I couldn't get all resist on them, I'd try to get lots of intelligence on them, because 149 intelligence would almost mean it has 50 all resist. That's what I went for. It has some attack speed, and of course, very high critical hit chance. Those are my, well, gloves. Just got them for some, I think, one point something million. I'm not sure. Next up are these braces. Well, again, always aim for somewhere over 140 dex and 140 vitality. Put any kind of resistance you're after, and crit hit chance should be over 5%. Something like that will cost you from around 2 to, well, 5 to 6 million. These ones for about, I think, 5.5 million. There you go. Going to the belt, of course. Well, there is no surprise there now, is it? Witching Hour. Got this for 34 million. It has decent dex, it has lightning resistance, attack speed and all, they always come. But another thing, my third item, now do notice that it has life regeneration. 127, 112, and well, 267. So three items now that I have that give me life regeneration. Next up is the pants, of course. I believe they are unarguably the best pants in the game. Inu's pants. So I've got armor on them. I could have gotten all resist on them, but no, I prefer not to. I'll get armor on them, and I'll, again, I'll tell you all about that later. So it has a decent amount of dex, max attack speed, don't go for 8%, go for 9%, more the better, right? Rings. This one, I found it, I think I found it, well, yeah, when I was playing the game. So it has dex vitality, it doesn't have my preferred resistance, but what it does give me is attack speed and crit hit chance. Max ones, of course. It also has a socket. And this one, someone was kind enough to give this to me, and I gave a few items in return. So this item is worth a lot on Auction House, around three to 400 million, I'm, sh I'm not sure. 
maybe even more or less. I'm not sure. I'm not a big person on Auction House, but it has lots of average damage, dexterity, lightning resist, my favourite, lots of crit hit damage, and a decent amount of crit hit chance with a socket. All well and good. Now, for my boots, I have Natalia's boots. Very high dexterity, no life, well they're very expensive if I could, they already come with default armour and most importantly they have movement speed on. There you go, so they are very useful of course. I've shown you my daggers, so this is basically my skill setup right now. This is what I use, this is how I play with. Now, talk. I'll talk about why have I chosen these skills, I mean it's fair enough and why I have these, but how do they work well? So in total I have about 2500 dexterity, 1100 vitality, 4000 armor and well the DPS you've seen already 2.4 when attack speed 48% critical hit chance and 473% crit hit damage now I'll talk about some rules of course the way a character should be designed I go for high attack speed and with the attack speed I have about what let's have a look over here I have 5.8% life leech I will steal well life it's not life on hit it's life steal so every the faster I attack, the more life I'm going to gain. That's simply how my build works, really. So lots of attack speed, time with life steal, means you can survive on very high monster powers, as you saw me playing in the later videos. Crit hit chance and damage, they should always kind of have a 10 to 1 ratio, right? So if I have 48% of that, 10 times of that is 480, so I'm close enough, right? Now the most important f part of being monk, being a monk like me, I guess, He's, he's a silly guy just like me, but I guess I can play it decently well on high difficulty, so he does work. Most people go for DPS. I personally don't. If you ask me honestly, this DPS is way high enough. I prefer my DPS to be somewhere around 100k, so I can do other things. Other things like what? Have armor. See, I have no Seize the Initiative on, nothing like that over here, and my armor is already 4000. Now that's good enough, is it not? My resistance is, well, not very high, but let's put... Well, one with everything on. You know what that number is going to go to? Have a look. 540. So here's another one of my final secret to you guys. When it comes to surviving, when it comes to being a good monk, your armor should always be around from 5200 to 5500. That is unbuffed, of course, as in not with any skills. Your resistances should be anywhere from, as I said, 520 to 5500. Oh, sorry, uh, 520 to 550. Well, my resistance are doing well enough now, aren't they? But my armor is low. It's higher than most monks I see at my level, as in they'll only have 3500, 3900. But still, I have a lot long way to go. So what I would like to do later on, I guess, is I'm going to change a few items so I can include that in my gameplay. Well, here's my monk for you. So I always play this kind of build, of course. I am all about speed. My, my principle is the faster I attack, the more life I'm going to steal, the better I'm going to survive. With a decent amount of armor, I take a lot of damage in. My dodge chance right now is high, it's 45%. And I've shown you how the dodge centric build, I can take that to 65%. If I put Seize the Initiative on, as simple as that, well, my armor becomes nice. It becomes where I want it to be, 5265. So this is where I'd like to be. This is my humble monk for you. If you want to join me playing farming or anything, please just give me a message, join me in game, come and find me, and we'll definitely have a game together. I hope you liked this video of mine, this was my monk for you, you all requested you wanted to have a look at my gear, so here it is. Well, I'm out now, thanks very much for listening, subscribe if you will, if you've got any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, this is your holy hermit signing out, thanks very much for listening, I'm out now, bye.